I'm Ajay. And I'm Ryan. And today we are going to be doing a video about conditional statements in programming. Conditional statements are a really important part in all programming languages. And this is especially true for Java, the programming language we use to code for our robot. Let's begin with our first uh, with our first conditional statement, which is if then statements. So the way we write if then statements is by putting it just like this. So here we have the if, which is the keyword that sets off a whole in state, if statement. And here inside the parentheses is where the conditional part of it is true. So when that condition is met, what happens inside these two, these braces will be done. So let's let's start off with an example. So let's say x, which can be any integer in the world. So, but we're gonna choose if it's specifically equal to five. So if it is equal to five, which and this condition is true, is met, we will print out a certain message. So let's say you got it. Here, see, so if, since the x equals five condition is met, this it will do this, run this this command, system.out.println, you got it. So let's move on to the next one, else if. So else if is basically an, another, is basically sort of like another if statement, but you can't put in another if statement like that. So the way we do it is else if. So that's saying if this condition is not met, then we move on to this statement. And that means, and yet again, they were going to have to meet the condition found inside of these parentheses. And then let's see this. So then if x equals... So if x not equal to 5, or equal to 5, then we say we do a different command. Like, we say, we say, try once, try again. All right. So simple, simple as that. So say we, we want to do a default condition. If not, neither of these are true, we do else. So this is totally simple. There's no condition. If all, if these of these conditions are not met, then it automatically defaults to this. So we could say, so let's say for this, if you haven't like, so this is basically really simple. Just, oh, sorry, I forgot, I'm messing up the syntax a little bit. Here we go. And we can say, try again later. So this is a basic overview of what it is. and. You can use this in any type of programming, no matter how complex it is. You can use it in a simple way like this, or you can use it as in complex as an FRC robot. So, I mean, this is this is really it for what we're going to be doing on conditional statements right now. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot from it. Thank you.